Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs and Samford University play for the first time in each school's history, coach. We go down to Birmingham, give you an opportunity to play another FCS opponent. Yeah, it was a great opportunity uh, for us to play a, a great program like Samford. Uh, playoff team uh, two years ago, uh, coach doing a great job with those guys. Uh, we know they can be well prepared, all three phases of the football game. Uh, they don't beat themselves, you know, they had two penalties all game. And so um, it was a great test to see where we were, and uh, we got a lot of work still to do. Uh, but uh, we, got, we got an opportunity to go down there and play them. Besides making strides in your offense, Coach, you played a lot of student athletes last night that normally didn't get a chance to play. Yeah, we did. You know, the game kind of got away, and, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to get our starters out of there and uh, not, not get anybody injured. Then get them young guys and then get my opportunity to play in a football game to see what they really do when the lights on. Coach, you have several student athletes that are leaders on this team that we're not playing. It gives you an opportunity on week one to see how you respond to that adversity. But in the second week, you get to see why those people are starters. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, that's part of it. You know, uh, everybody think they starters <laughs> and, until they actually get out there and see, okay, it ain't as easy. The mother guys mm -hmm. make it look easy. It ain't that easy. So, uh, you know, some of that is that, you know, let's put this guy in there and show him that he's not ready for a game or he shouldn't be starting because I don't think they should be. And of course, a late evening game, one concern you might have had, the coaching staff or our sideline was outside of the shadows, so you had the sun in your eyes a great deal the first quarter. Yeah, but that was just us, you know, uh, it wasn't the players, you know, the players, the sun was coming this way and they're playing this way, so, uh, and, and then both teams had the same elements when it comes to that. It was just our, our sideline was in the sun, so that's not an issue. That, that's going to happen in evening games. Uh, home side is normally in the shade and visitors normally in the sun. And as you normally do, Coach, you gave our opponents something to look at on film, and we'll take a look at that when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, lots of things that you can learn about your student athletes when you play a game like this, but what you really like about it is that it's an away game. Yeah, you know, um, uh, you know, the guys uh, kept fighting, you know, and uh, never gave up uh, when we got down again. And we tried to make a run there, and 
um, you know, the touchdown got reversed and they kind of took all the life out of us. Mm. And, uh, you know, but, but we like playing away games to get away from all the hoopla and the tickets and the girlfriends and the parents and the brothers and uncles and uh, try to stay focused on football uh, for, 20, for 48 hours. And of course, in your focus, Coach, you're playing Sanford for the first time. I remarked when we came into the stadium, it looked more like the Christians playing the Lions at the way the stadium is set up, but it's a beautiful venue to play ball in. It is. It's a great venue. It sits down in the hole and um, you got uh, nice facilities, um, a big old scoreboard, so great atmosphere. Both sides was packed. You know, the stadium's not that huge, but you get a, you get a nice crowd in, in the venues like that, and uh, they did a great, great job in setting it up. And you could hear the marching maroon and white in the stands you can always hear them but you saw a lot of other maroon and white and that would have been the fans that followed you to Birmingham yes the fans showed up again and uh, the band was there outside I, I was completely full with maroon and white and uh, you know the Bulldogs come out and support and uh, we really appreciate that and look forward to them continuing to come and support us on the road and at home do you challenge your student athletes to play a little bit harder just because people support them so well? I tell them every game, man. Those people, those people pay to see you play, and so let's go put on a good show. And of course, we see getting ready for the show, the opening coin toss here, and then the Bulldogs' opening drive of the game. Yeah, we got a good play set up here. Got one guy. If we get that guy right there, you know, we got a chance. And uh, he splits those two guys, and uh, we don't get off to a good start. You know, we had a good play call there, and we come back here, and Aquil keeps it, and Gets good yardage here. He's gotten happy with keeping that football. Down well, you know, he's making his reads. And then on third down here, we got a receiver wide open. You know, he, he might still be running if he catch that ball. So, you know, we got to make those plays. You know, uh, he's a college football player. And, uh, you know, like I say, people pay money to see you play wide receiver and make those catches. So you got to make that catch. And that kind of got us off to a bad start where we could show right there, hey, we ready to play. We're going to make this play and drive the ball down and say, hey, these guys for real. But. Uh, you know, we kind of stalled out there with that drop. So now we're on defense, and uh, they're, they're driving right here. There's a little fake and a pass. And Great Mike interception Mills, by Mike Mills. Yeah, Mike Mills threw a little inside, and Mike Mills jumped it and uh, got his first pick of the year. And, uh, you know, I talked to him before the game and told him he needed to get three. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so that was a big right there after us going three and out to get us the ball back. How important are the seniors to your team, Coach? The seniors? Very important because all the young guys listen to those guys. They follow them, whether they know it or not. Uh, they watching everything they do, mm. and uh, you know whether they're leaving the right way or the wrong way. Now here's CJ dropping a pass right there on third down. So that's two third down plays uh, that we drop. And now here's the fake, and uh, Spencer right there, that last block right there sealed it. And now it's off Katie Bar to go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, who taught Spencer how to keep the ball on his outside arm, Coach? He's a really good athlete. He is a great athlete. That's why we put him in. Uh, you know, uh, he shoot. When we run at the end of practice, he's first always, always first. So he's a great athlete. Uh, he just happened to play kicker. And, of course, Coach, when looking at this, who made this call? Well, of course, you know the head coach has to make those calls. Uh, I want to send a message to our guys that we're not afraid. We come here to win. And... Uh, you know, I tell them all the time, don't be afraid to be great. Mm. You know, I just called a fake on the 28-yard line. You know, um, we got a saying, main of mine, okay? Get, get my mindset, and that's why I him win a football game. Main of time, then to main, main of mind, mind and yeah. then you get to that. And then, of course, Coach, you're giving your opponents all kinds of film to spend time analyzing now. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they can understand that, you know, we'll fake it any time. So you, you better be prepared for it, and you better be playing safe. You come out if you want to, we'll fake it on you. As we see now, another kickoff. Good job by Gary Quarles this week, Coach. Very secure with the football on kickoffs. Yeah, and punts. You know, uh, so had a couple problems with that last week, and we got that cleaned up. And uh, that's a good punt right here by Spencer, man. And that's a good play by uh, Holloway. Uh, and so that's, that's good football right there. Good coverage. Come back to here defensively. Kelly get the initial hit, and he slips off. But we had other people there. And it's one-on-one -on -one right here. Caleb, that's a great play. He turns back inside and has a great opportunity to intercept that ball, but didn't, didn't finish that play. Of and course. then he tried to throw one out, and defense is rallying, man. So they're playing hard. They're competing. We remarked on the broadcast, Coach, that if we could keep 
their quarterback and having to make decisions, he had ch had a chance to make bad decisions, and we almost got several of those. Two well, picks on he, day. Yeah, right. He threw two picks um, when we got got a little pressure on him and, and, and covering him up back there. And so uh, we knew that if we could uh, force him to make some decisions, he could make some bad decisions and help us out. And he did, but he also made some great ones. And he's an athlete and he rushed for about 120 yards and, you know, threw for another 250. So he, he's tough to contain. Here's one of his picks right here. Good return on this one. We thought we might take this one to the house. But the Bulldogs are fighting in this one 10-7 at the end of the first. Right, we're right there. And uh, here's a pass out to uh, Quarles and uh, gets to the seven-yard line. And so we're right on the doorstep, knocking on the door right here. Explain this one, Coach. Uh, it's just inside zone. Uh, and we run the option uh, the opposite way with uh, Bentley. And so that gets us the first down. Here's power pass. And so we just fake power right here and, and sling it out in the flat, flats. Another senior, Joseph Burke, with the touchdown catch. Bulldogs go ahead, Coach, 14 to 10. Yeah, we got the lead. Uh, we're right where we want to be, man. We're in the game. Uh, we got control, even with two, three and outs, you know. But uh, we got two turnovers from the defense, and, and that's the difference right now. The defense is playing great. They got two stops, two turnovers, and uh, we drove it right down the score, man. So now they come back and score. And so now we got the ball back again. There's a little swing pass out here. It's a good move right there, make him miss and, and get three or four yards out of nothing. But that's what happens on those swings. You throw it out there in space, you expect your guys to make a miss. And here goes Zay, spinning off the guy. That's a great play by him. Uh, being physical and get some yak yards after the catch. After that first contact, it is important these days with the ball being thrown around for receivers just right here to break a tackle. Right, that's two in a row. You know, we're actually three in a row where we're making plays in space, uh, making people miss. And uh, now we got another pass over the middle, and we're driving it right back down the field here. And they trying to break another tackle. So now we're the 12-yard line, and we uh, throw an interception, pick six. And uh, that just uh, broke our back right there. You know, we was up, I mean, they was up 17-14. And uh, we're on the 13-yard line, and we throw a pick six. And so that, that's uh, so deflating right before half. Mm -hmm. We get that score, go up 21-14, to 14. I mean 21-17. to 17. We got to lead at halftime. It's a ball game. Our guys are fired up. Our guys are pumped up. And uh, instead, we throw a pick six and take all the energy out of us. And then in taking the energy out of the game, Coach, how do you ever respond to something like that? Well, you, you, got, you just got to regroup and let it go. But it's just so hard to do when you got so much momentum going. You're so jacked up. You know you're in the football game. And then you give a long one like that. After a long drive where the receivers was on the field. Mm -hmm. And then we give up a 90-yard interception return. And everybody sprints all the way back down after staying on the field. Now you got to come right back out after the kickoff right back on the field. So it takes a lot out of you. And, of course, you didn't work too hard on a kill with not pushing the man out of bounds. It's your quarterback. You don't need him to get hurt making a tackle. Well, he couldn't catch him. <laughs> you know, he couldn't catch him. He tried. You know, so I, I wanted nothing to say to him. He, he, he gave me a lot of effort there. He just don't have the foot speed to run with that guy. And, he, and I, what I didn't want him to do is make that dive at the end for nothing mm. because he could get a shoulder or something. So, you know, he knew he couldn't get him, just let him go. Of course, Coach, there was a call made, penalty made, on Spencer Corey's 72-yard fake punt run for a touchdown. But we'll see more on those highlights when we come back and look at the second half right here on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 94.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. Give your to me. Give my all to you. 
88.9 FM WJAB. For the campus of Alabama A&M University. Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Coming to the second half, coach, lots of things happened in that first half. But as I like to say on the broadcast, you had them right where you wanted them, coach. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Ted. Uh, but uh, we, we, we was right where we need to be. We had an opportunity there right before the half. And that was a big, huge play to, to pick six. Uh, to swung the momentum, everything. We know we got a chance to take the lead and, and come out in the half with the lead. Um, and, uh, you know, the pick six really deflated us and, and did a lot to us, and uh, we weren't able to recover from it. And, of course, Coach, you talk about main or mind. Having the guts to make a big play or to even think about making a big play is very important to your team. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to show your team that uh, you're with them, you trust them, uh, and, and you're willing to fight and take chances for them. And those kind of things help you keep student athletes interested in practice because practice can get kind of monotonous during the season. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a grind, you know, it's, it's a grind. You know, we got 12 games this year, so uh, guys know that, you know, you get a couple of days, you get Sunday and Monday, and then you got to come back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, ready to go with life practice Friday, and then you play again on Saturday. So it's part of it, and, uh, and, and we knew this when you signed up. And you come into the second half, Coach, you kind of infectious now with that main or mind. I'm thinking in the ball game, this is not over. We have an opportunity to get back in the ball game because you've gone up and down the field in the first half. Yeah, you know, we, we, uh, we moved the ball at will and, uh, you know, made some mistakes and, and stopped ourselves as we did the week before. And the week before we was down 18 and a half, this week we were down 17 and a half. So, of course, we could still come back. And um, here's the second half kickoff. And those guys drove it down and uh, we held them to a field goal. So now we're down 20, so we're still down three scores. So we're right where we want to be. It's a good big play right there uh, by the defense. And, um, and so we go down and get a potential score, which we'll see in a second here. But right here, the defense is still playing hard. They're, they're driving this ball down on us. And uh, we get a big stop here to hold them to a field goal. Definitely that, Coach. Bulldog defense maligned early in the season, been playing well the last few weeks. You think you've turned the corner on that? Well, you know, we still gave up a lot of points, and we, and we gave up uh, almost 500 yards. So we just got to, we got to limit, do a better job of limiting the big plays um, and, uh, and being, get our gap fits right. You know, when we do that, we, we're a good defense. But when we don't, uh, we, we're pretty bad. Bulldogs gave up 225 yards in rushing, but the Bulldogs gained 259 yards with rushing. Sometimes people say statistics, Coach, may be for someone that loses. Well, I'm a loser this week because I see by the numbers that we're able to compete with anybody. Yeah, of course we can, and uh, we know that. And so, uh, but we got we got to get it on the scoreboard. It's mm -hmm. that we want us to the wins and losses and the scores. So, uh, we got the ball here now. Our first possession, driving it down, and Bentley just made a big long run and. Now uh, we're grinding out some yards here. Uh, so now Gary Kors is in the game, keeping the guys fresh. And here he goes around the corner again uh, to the eight-yard line. And uh, GQ is still in the game. He gets the first down. Now we got first and goal at the five. So it's a 20-point game right now. A score here, right there. Now, that's a touchdown. He ran over two people. Clear as day. He ran over two. Let's watch it. He runs over two people. Bam. Run him over. He's still going. Die for it. Call the touchdown. It's reviewed. And the boot from up top says his forward progress was stopped. Now, is it me? Or am I blind? Or did somebody see his forward progress get stopped on that play? In the end zone. Yeah. You, they showed, we showed the play twice. He ran the guys over. Died for it and, laid, and ran across. And they said his forward progress is stopped. And, and brought back the touchdown. So, I don't know. 
again, your confidence in moving the ball up and down the field. Here's another fine play down the middle of the field. Good throw and catch right here, Coach. Yes, sir, and that's another play. And, you know, we, so we're still fighting, you know. Um, you know, there's no quit in us. You know, we're going we gonna to try to fight to clock hit double zero, you know. Um, and, you know, so we, we still, we're still going here. Zay, Ray, I'm more. We've got a face mask call right here and uh, added 15 more. So we're right back down here again, knocking on the door again. And uh, we got to be able to punch these in. Uh, Bentley gets some more tough, hard yards, man. That's what he does. Does hit 131 yards rushing again this week. And uh, and so we go again. You know, we we're still down here and and tough run after the yeah, catch. Yeah, tough run right there. Stokes broke, the broken up, Stokes broken up a tackle. You know, we had some plays where we made a couple guys miss and, and got some more yak yards. So we just got to keep improving on that. But we had too many drops. We had too many drops this week. By the wide receivers, but as you can see, when they catch the ball, they got a little talent. You know, they can right. make people miss and uh, get some yak yards. But we got to just do a better job of catching that first ball as the see Stowe break that tackle again to get in the end zone. And uh, and uh, that's what the weight room is all about, right there, coach. Yes, sir. It is. It is. And uh, you know, that's that's twenty-one to forty now. Again, back to twenty-one points and. Um, Good, good play right here by the defense to string this play out. He's doing a lot of dancing, but he's not going anywhere. We got a lot of bodies around that ball. Um, and now here, here we go with the ball again. And uh, not a lot of time left, but you know we, we haven't given up. You changed out Josh Cartwright is going to get a chance to play quarterback. And you also put Alvin Bryant in at running back coach. We mentioned at the top of the show, you got several student athletes on the field that had not been on the field up until that game. Oh yeah, we uh, you know Alvin Brown's a good running back. You know his his problem is he got Bentley and Quarles in front of him, so um, you know he'd be back he'd be back next year and he'd get a lot more. He he be able to help us some more farther down the road. Mm. Uh, it's a long season, man, and those running backs are you know here's you know we made those those changes now, um, and Josh Cartwright is in the game. Josh, he, he, he got to go north. In he does, but he got to go a little bit more north and south right there, and uh, he probably get five more yards if he just stay north and south. Mm -hmm. And this way, he uh, he actually ran the wrong way this way right here, but it's okay. He got eight yards out of it. A little pressure as the Bulldogs come up at the end, and we do the gentlemanly thing to do in the sportsmanship handshake, coach, at the end of the game. One of the things that I'm most impressed about by the Bulldogs student athletes is, is everywhere we go, coach, we're liable to get a compliment from someone in the hotel that we're staying at talking about how mannerable and how respectful your student athletes are. Yeah, that's what we're trying to teach these guys. You know, like I always say it is, and it's very true. I want these guys to be better fathers, role models, leaders when they lead my program. And, uh, and we get that all the time. We even got that from the officials about how nice our guys were, you know, which is – Good and bad. You know, I, I, I want you to be a bulldog on the field. Right. But as soon as you step off that field, you be a perfect gentleman. And we'll take that, Coach. Coming up next week for the Bulldogs, we go down to Mobile, another road game, but it's a home game for us, Coach. What are your quick thoughts about that? I'm looking forward to it. You know, we we'll, want we'll to try to get back in the winning uh, column. And uh, so we got to watch the tape today, learn from it, and uh, put a game plan in for Central State, Ohio, go down to Mobile, which is a home game for us. Uh, and uh, look forward to that game. Great challenge. Of course, the head coach of Central State is one of our former offensive coordinators, Cedric Pearl. But, Coach Pearl, you might have to take one next Saturday when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis, the worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs. 
or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. And the home of mellow madness till midnight. You bring me joy. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I am your host, Ted Dixie. Coach, Bulldogs taking on Central State Marauders down in the Gulf Coast Classic. It's another road game, but it's a home game for us, Coach. What are you thinking about that? Um, we're getting prepared. You know, like you said, it's a home game for us. We, take, we took it and moved it to Mobile to make it a classic and uh, played Southern last year. We got Central State, Ohio this year. So uh, we look forward to the challenge of, of playing those guys and, and uh, hitting the road for a home game and, and getting back in the win column and, and getting back above 500 and get ready to make the uh, stretch run. We can't go to the home of Mardi Gras and not have a lot of hoopla surrounding the game, Coach. This travel's a little bit different during leave on Thursday. Yeah, you know, uh, like you say, a classic. So we're going to have a little banquet that we have to go to. So we leave one day earlier. But again, uh, so now we have um, 72 hours with the guys uh, concentrating on football and getting away from all the hoopla and the parents and tickets and girlfriends and all this stuff. So. Uh, hopefully we can get these guys focused for three days on football and the game, and uh, they play very well. Of course, if you would like to shake Coach Maynard's hand, join us Monday night, 6 o'clock p.m. at X Golf, 2500 Clinton Avenue, for Bulldog Talk with Coach Maynard. And, of course, we thank you for watching the Alabama a and Football Review. The time has been changed for the kickoff classic in Mobile next week, Coach. Kickoff is scheduled for 4.30 p.m. That means the pregame show may be heard on 90.9 FM, WJAB, starting at 4 o'clock p.m. Any final words and thoughts, Coach? Just looking forward to it, uh, getting get ready this tape and uh, get better and uh, so we can put on a good show um, Saturday in Mobile. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week when we will talk about another Bulldog victory.